One of the things um, that I came to the government with when I started in 2009 in the first Obama administration was a desire to um, begin coming to grips as a country and taking as a country a leadership position on a progressive and a global basis um, relative to what I'll call the digital copyright challenge. Because I came in knowing that the orphan work situation was um, uh, coming into, into conflict with um, the fair use regime. Uh, I came in knowing that the uses that consumers want to make of content is outstripping the, uh, the legal regime around the content. So as an example, you see you know, folks in Europe who are frustrated at times that they want to be able to download a song and then take it with them from place to place. And it actually turns out to be hard to do that in Europe to move from country to country. So we've got a global commercial system that has outgrown the legal system um, that supports it. And so one of the first things I did when I started was to work um, within the Department of Commerce, which is the parent agency in which the USPTO um, is housed, and my colleagues over there to set up a project to begin examining in great detail the digital um, copyright challenge and to uh, you know, attempt to work toward an administration position, an administration you know, document, maybe even a national policy um, eventually on this kind of thing. If America leads in having a legal system for copyright that can support, champion the interests of both the copyright holders and those who want to make their works available online, find a way to bridge those gaps, um, we could be the world's leader in the next vistas of making um, gigantic amounts of information publicly accessible with respect to the owners. If we don't, some other country is going to figure that out at some point, right? And the country that figures that out first gets to lead in the next revolution. I really want it to be our country.